Hi everyone, I'm Neha Kapoor, health coach at SugarFit and diabetes expert. In today's talk, I want to make you family with your second brain called gut, which starts from the opening of your stomach and ends at anus. Our gut has a mind of its own and it's known as enteric nervous system, just like the larger brain in your head. Your gut and the brain are in constant communication with each other through the vagus nerve. That's why your gut can upset the brain and the brain can upset the gut. Believe or not, but your health is incredibly dependent on the life and vibrancy of your gut microbiota. Scientists have noted 80 to 90 percent of the nerve fibers in the enteric nervous system are actually going from the gut to the brain. It is the second brain because it controls you more than you realize. So your gut is responsible for digestion and absorption of nutrients. Hence, it improves digestion by helping with the absorption of nutrients like sugar, amino acids and vitamins by the intestinal cells. It also plays a defensive role in developing the human immune system. Bacteria of the gut flora are involved in the maturation and activation of the cells in the intestinal immune system which protects you from attacks of pathogenic agents like bacteria and viruses. Gut brain is reported to play a major role in human happiness and misery. Our gut controls all these without any involvement of the brain. So if your gut gets disconnected with brain, don't worry, it can still function on its own. Let's deep dive to understand how gut with healthy microbiome is a strong predictor of emotional and mental well-being. Microbes in your gut actually produce over 50% of the dopamine found in your body and 90% of the feel-good hormone called serotonin. Dopamine is a hormone responsible for allowing you to feel pleasure, satisfaction and motivation. When you feel good about any achievement, it's all because of this single hormone called dopamine. Dopamine also enhances the sleep. That is why in diabetes, we often get to see that person is sleep deprivated. Unhealthy gut increases carbohydrate cravings. If you are unable to control your cravings, unhealthy and disturbed gut microbiota is the reason. This unhealthy gut reduces the level of serotonin, which further impacts your mood and food choices too, increasing more and more carbohydrate cravings, which is frequently associated with obesity. Your gut health and the microbiome also related to diabetes. Root cause of 90% of diseases is unhealthy gut. A shift away from normal gut microbiota diversity is called dysbiosis. And dysbiosis contributes to various diseases including diabetes. Gut is responsible for carbohydrate metabolism, decrease in the number of good bacteria, impairs carbohydrate metabolism, reducing insulin action, altering the function of your beta cells, making one diabetic. It's all related to the gut health. One should include more fruits and vegetables. Vegetables are loaded with fibers which cannot be digested by people but are consumed by the good bacteria in our gut. It has been observed that people who follow a diet rich in fruits and vegetables are less likely to grow diseases causing bacteria. You should cut down on alcohol, sugar and processed food as they lead to this biases. If you eat too many simple sugars too regularly, you run the risk of literally starving your microbe to death. Additionally, hungry microbes will resort and munch and eat away your gut linings making you prone to pathogens and toxins. For healthy gut, we should add a lot of pre and the probiotics. They are chock full of live bacteria that will help in populating your gut with good types of microbes. We can make them part of our diet by eating fermented foods like yogurt. So if you're choosing the yogurt, there are many yogurts with a lot of extra sugar in it. The easy option to make sure that it is sugar free. We can also add other fermented drinks like kombucha which is easily available in the market and it's becoming a very popular source of probiotics and it's available online even on many other platforms. Now coming to the prebiotics. To support the probiotics, we have the prebiotics which are specialized plant fibers. They act like fertilizers and stimulate the growth of healthy bacteria in our gut. We get them from complex carbohydrates 
like whole grains we get them from the garlic we have the leeks we have apples so these are all good options which can be incorporated in our diet exercise also enhances the gut health so make sure that one should incorporate at least exercise five days in their routine it helps in the synthesis of short chain fatty acids and carbohydrates metabolism so if you are doing exercise, it will enhance the functioning of your carbohydrate metabolites in a very smoother way. The easiest way to add good microbes is to exposing your skin to soil and the nature. So we get microbes from the atmosphere also. So even when you're going out, playing outdoors, you are breathing in the microbes. Let's eradicate diseases by flourishing our gut microbiome. Let food be the medicine and the medicine be the food. If you are eating healthy, no one can make you fall sick. Take care of your health and take care of yourself. This is your health coach, Neha Kapoor. Stay tuned to Sugar Fit. Good day.